when your two years are up on the bubbles, because you aren't supposed to use them for over two years if you don't get them tested for pressure or have the equipment to do that yourself, don't throw them away. One awesome way to reuse them would be as a granular grain dispenser, or if you have a hard time convincing your significant others, in your kitchen as a cereal dispenser. But seriously, if you had like a hotel with a breakfast buffet, something like that, why not? So you just need some pieces that aren't that expensive. With that said, I didn't pay for them. But yeah, being this YouTube store, yeah, free or not, let's try it out to see how it actually works. And I will tell you how to fit those pieces onto your bubble. I'm Dr. Hans, this is Dr. Hans Brewery, my channel about beer and home brewing. If you want to learn with me how to come better at beer and brewing, why don't you consider becoming a subscriber? Of course, helps out by liking this video and check that little bell so you don't miss anything. Yes, this is a beer I fermented under pressure. It's a lager, turned this around in under a week. It came out really nice. recipes already up on Patreon. And speaking of Patreon, this video is sponsored by my patrons and channel members. So if you want to more content and recipes and behind the scenes stuff, why don't you check that out? Thank you very much. So you need some pieces to get this going order to have the bubble. If you don't have anything of this, you can, of course, buy like the granular pack, but you can just have the accessories. So I have an old lid from a fermentosaurus and there's a hole there, but I will seal that up. So we get like, maybe not airtight here, but yeah, it would be a good way to store the grains and hopefully it looks easy to dispense. So yeah, let's just try it out. If you stick to the end of this video, I will show you how it looks and a little behind the uh, trip tour in the shed, my, aka my YouTube studio. So you need a little bigger hole and uh, I almost like killed myself doing it, but I will ask or like I can measure exactly what size you want on that drill. You have the, the seal here and which goes on to this part. This goes inside, and then we have the, the other nut, which puts on like that, and that holds this in place, squeezing it on the bubble, and this part actually just snaps on, like that, and you're done. And you can do this with both like the small bubbles and the 60 liter bubbles also. This is a 35 liter bubble. And on the 35 liter bubble, the hole is quite small, but I have a solution for that also. And it's called bang, bang, boom. a funnel. But I didn't found a funnel, but I bought this dog collar. Uh, to Michael so he wouldn't like scratch himself and this would be great for this I think cost like six dollars so we'll try to and if this work I will link down below to something like this the opening is eight centimeters roughly this is the hardest part, I think. You're supposed to do something with this one, aren't you? How does this work? Could it be something? Okay, now I got it. Man, I'm stupid sometimes. How do the dog actually get this on by themselves? Okay, I found out how to do this. It was not simple. Okay, funnel, great. Does it fit? Yes, it fits like a glove. You can't see anything. I think we're still in focus. Now that's better. It's working. I need a bigger funnel. 
if someone can link to a big funnel, see if we can try to hold this steady with some some tape. This could work. Okay, it's working now. But yeah, this is not a solution. I need a bigger funnel. So, get Michael's collar off. Let's zoom back in. Okay, solve the problem. Cheers. This wasn't even the video I was supposed to record today. I need to record a video after this. I'm doing this series, Q&A series about pressurized fermentation. So second part of that. So, ooh, it's not heavy. I thought it was, was gonna be really heavy, but it's not. It's not heavy, not at all. I wasn't prepared for that. Let's just try it. And you see there's room here, so you can have a scale down here, under it. And just open. Nice. It's open to dispense. Can go fast. How am I gonna get this back without Mike's collar? Can get a lot more in if you shake it. No, it's not. It's not heavy. I still thought it was heavy. So epic close-ups. working brilliantly. I can't really complain about it. I'm gonna make another one with the second port I got and I will try to fit two of these in my brew shed. I really would want four. Awesome. I'll try to see if I can fit two in my brew shed. It's getting tight in there, but yeah, need some more space. Or a new brew house. That would be awesome. No, I'm not, I'm not saying that we're gonna build a brew house, but it would be awesome. But yeah, it's, it's, it's a project for the future. So what do you guys think about this one? Is it, people are like complaining of, the waste of the, uh, the plastic bubbles. But if you're using a plastic bubble over and over for like two years and still that complains that there's a lot of waste in plastic, I'm guessing you're not buying any like sodas or anything in a plastic container, never. But if you also can reuse it for other stuff, yeah, this is good for the environment. So thumbs up for, for that. Okay, let's look how it looks in the brew shed. And I showed you the uh, result, how far I've come so far with the, uh, with the shed. My YouTube studio, here you can see the granularis. Uh, I will show you how I fit them shortly. So this is the, the new painted backdrop. I didn't paint the whole house. So far, yeah, you have another one over there. I'm gonna talk about it. So that's the that's the look. So I needed to get things out of the way because it will really cramped in here. So I tried to hang them 
by the lids, the big ones hanging in the handles. Yes, I don't have a lid, so cake team, if you're watching, please send lids. I need the collar and lids for those ones. So 30 liters and 35 liters, sorry, 60 liters. And I need some space for, for this big light. Oh, it's really crowded in here. This is good content. So I mounted that one a little further back. So I have some space to move that light really. But if you're not <laughs> need to have a like a YouTube studio at home, you can mount them however you want. Of course, I could put the table up here and dispense the, the grains. Also, take it carefully. You can knock this off if you're lifting them. So if you're hitting this one, you can knock it off as it just snap on. So be careful. Um, yeah, you obviously understand how I know this. We've got a lot of grains in here. But now I know, so be careful. So this just hangs in the lid and as this has handle and I didn't have any lid, I just hang them in the handle. That's working, working great. So it just, it, it's just ordinary shelving consoles. Uh, I had to cut that one and, and this one or the big one or another model which I didn't have to cut. So guys, hope you liked the video. If you haven't already, consider becoming a subscriber and do hit that little bell to get notifications when I put out the video. Of course, smash that like button. If you didn't like this at all, feel free to smash the dislike button twice. Consider supporting on Patreon or become a channel member or even just buy me a beer, link down in the description. Cheers and thanks for watching. Dr. Hans out.